What up y'all and welcome back to another one. I'm gonna leave that door open for a reason. Big day, really big day. We got old Frederick. Hi buddy, how are you? Say hi to everyone. He's been having to uh, get used to his new brother. Yep, yeah, about that. If y'all can imagine Fred being integrated for the first time ever here at his home with another lab, male dominant lab, hunting highly trained dog, right? Frederick, he's going, I know he's in there. Fred loves him. Fred loves him. He wants to play with him. And today is a new day. And uh, last night was our first night having Judge. Um, he's such a sweet boy. Um, first, <laughs> first interaction between the two was, let's just get him out. Good boy, come here, sit, sit. No, sit, sit. Good. Now, look how much younger he looks than Fred. He is highly trained. Judge is amazing. Oh, he says, I want to go see my brother. Okay, okay. Again, Fred loves Judge. Judge, the only thing he knows is heal, abide, obedience, listen to now dad. Um, I'm the alpha now to him. So we had to make that whole transition yesterday when I picked him up in Missouri. Now, I don't know where to start. I really don't, um, the situation here. So, it's easy just to have Judge and train him out back on the pond and have fun with him and da 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 da. But as you guys know, oh yeah, let her go big dog, let her go. Like I was saying, as you all know, Fred has hip dysplasia. Um, and it's really been rearing its, uh, just rare in its ugly, ugly face. And your boy, I need a tool, um, which is Judge. He is a fully trained kennel dog. He's a kennel dog. He's not a house dog. He don't have a dog bed inside. He never has. He is a kennel dog, meaning not a small kennel dog like this, but big, nice kennel, concrete floors. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't have to tell him a darn thing. This is only the second day of us working together. Look, he's seen his reflection in the chrome wheel and he freaked out. He doesn't know normal life. He is a very well-trained heel. Judge, heel, come on. Let's go, set. The thing is getting him in heel, Fred wants to heel too. So, what I've been doing is make them, making them honor each other. Last night was the first training session. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted with stickers in their paws. Uh, but I make them honor each other. Like right now we got Fred in the kennel. We're gonna work Judge, vice versa. Um, I've already worked Fred a little bit. You know him, he doesn't need a lot of work. Um, but trying to keep the camaraderie and the respect. So Judge, when he first came here yesterday, he was very, very protective. He only knew me, he didn't know anything else. And then you got Fred, he's a big baby. He's my baby and he always, he's right coming right up to me. Well. As you can tell, he is already, I'm telling you, completely adapted to me almost. It's unreal. He's, he is very, very sharp. Um, very, extremely sharp. But Judge got really protective and they fought twice. Like just went, Bruh! and I went, no, 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 and broke him up. I think we're past that. I made them lay together. I put their kennels next to each other so they could basically be right, you know, face to face the whole time without without being able to attack each other, you know what I mean? So, that's the first order of business is getting these two acquainted and brothers. Before we go any further, I wanna show you guys the new Ducks dog collar. Awesome, awesome, very strong. It's got metal clips and then the saucy dog bowl. Check that bad boy out. We also have dog bumpers and a bunch of other stuff at Ducks for dogs, uh, dog leashes, all kinds of stuff. Go check it out. Remember, if you buy something at Ducks, use code BOB, B-O-B. It helps you out by saving you some money and it helps me out as well. Thank you. Come on, Judge Hill. Good boy. Okay, no stickers, set, set. So, I'm gonna talk to you a little, set, no, 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 set. I'm here, heel. Heel, right here. Set. Set. Let's give him a warm up here. Just to get him happy. I got a whistle. 
First time, man. It's a whole new thing for me. Sit. Get up. I gotta get used to this thing bad. Good. Go. Here, here, judge, here. We gotta get warmed up here. I think he's got a sticker in his pole. This whistle is a whole new ball game for me. I don't even have a lanyard for it yet. Judge. I gotta get used to this whistle. I suck at it. He's definitely peeing in the water. Okay. Need to get him, need to get him going here. Judge, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up. All right, now he's gonna be fired up. The whistle. Good, good dog. Gotta get used to this whistle. Good dog. Here, I do have the collar on him. Um, he just needs a little bit of vibrating every now and then. Uh, no nicks really in case we're not we got to get acquainted with each other before we do that set good 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 set I'm gonna do one um, so this one I'll show you um, judges field trial train set um, much more than uh much a lot more training than fred set um he is taught to take the straightest line possible to that dead bird so that's what we'll kind of display now i'm going to throw it on the other side of the bank he'll have to drive through the water up the bank get it and back to me uh, i'm still just kind of relying on the whistle not a lot of collar action a little bit of vibrating um now judge can be stopped out to 50 80 however many yards he can hear this whistle he can be stopped and pushed and uh basically on cold blinds where you're guiding him with your hands and the whistle so um we need to get to that still we have to be uh, acquainted i have to get used to all this new stuff so um, this is all alien to me but I'm gonna try my best to to take to it right for him so let's see how good he does we still have that dead bird out there that we threw. Set. Judge. No, no, dead bird. Good, here. Good boy. Yes, he, I made him ignore that other bird. He wanted to go to it. Couple little beeps, couple short beep, beep, beep. That means pick that up. Here, let's go. Come on. Here. Come on, dude. Time to get warmed up. Let's go. Set. Mark. Judge. Good. Good dog. Come on. Here. Come on. Let's go. He's got to get used to all my commands. Coming from the other owner, you know, he's a lot better than me. Sit. Oh, we got a sticker. Come here, buddy. Good boy, set. So again, just trying to get acquainted still. Don't go in the stickers, set, set. And um, get me and him working as a team. This is uh, what it takes. I am, uh, Scott is the guy I bought him from. I am not Scott. I don't have his field trial experience, his training experience. So we're gonna have to get acquainted and it might take a little bit of time. Set. So he should get this bird first. Judge. Good. 
gone. Straight line right to it. God! I gotta get used to this whistle. I just, I just don't even feel right. <laughs> you know when you like have to blow a trumpet in middle school for the first time and you don't know how? Or a duck call? That's what I feel like. Come on. Come on, judge. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Mark your bird. Mark. 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 Judge. Over. 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 Back. Good. Good dog. That's our first time ever, ever having to stop him on a whistle and work him. Good. So, I had to stop him a lot with that whistle, but every time big rips he's gonna stop a little different when he was in the water swimming but when he's on the bank he stops look at you and that little like little little blows good <laughs> little blows means you're really close uh, I spent about two hours with Scott yesterday um, him training me with judge so it's gonna take a little bit but we'll get there really fast now that's a good little training sesh. Uh, this morning it's gonna start getting pretty hot. So uh, one thing we're gonna do every time, me and Judge, is we're gonna end it with big hay ups. Hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey! Just to end it on a really high note, happy dog. He's gonna be awesome. Being able to stop him with that whistle and control him, good! It's quite remarkable. He's gonna be a lot of fun this year in the field. Yeah, well, I think that's gonna do it for today, Judge. Did a good job, buddy. Look how young he looks. He looks like a young Fred. I mean, he's a black nosed dog. He's not a he's not a pink skinned dog, light skinned dog like like Frederick. He's hardy and he is small. Compared to Freddy, he is very, very, very tiny. He's gonna kill it. I can guarantee you he's gonna kill it. Let's go. Look, he won't move. Come on, let's go. Because I told him to sit. Good boy. Good dog. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Um, I remember in a past video about Fred referring to him as a tool. I had uh, some of y'all that just, maybe you don't understand. Maybe you don't understand and that's not my fault. But I called Freddy a tool and I go, I need a tool um, to help me get my job done. Good, sit, stay. Just like a, uh, a mechanic needs his wrenches. Just like a filmer needs a camera, right? Same thing, as a guide, I need a dog to help me pick up them birds on them big hunts. So, what I mean by tool is a helper that is healthy, Unlike Fred, even though he is a big old hoss, look at him, he's a beefcake. He's a big old dude. He looks healthy, but back here, look how sensitive he is on it. Yep, I know, I know, buddy. That's where we get our 17 month old judge. Come here, buddy. 
Come here. Good boy. Sit. Look how timid he is. <laughs> uh, you're a good boy. Yeah. Oh, you just want to give kisses. You're going to make Freddy jealous, buddy. Look at him. I know. We're going to get through this together. We're going to become a team, aren't we? We are. I know, Freddy Rico. I know, dude. Judge is, uh, has all the HIP certifications, um, all the tests. Everything has came out great. Um, beautiful dog. But Judge has had all of his HIP tests, um, everything. Completely purebred beauty. So I'm excited to have him this season and um, won't have to worry about his, about his health so much, being Fred's hips and, oh, I can't work him that hard. Or, man, he's hunted three times in a row, you know, three days in a row. He's probably tired. He needs a break. No, Judge won't need a break that often. He's only 17 months. Fred, look how big he is. He's almost four years. Actually, you, Fred is right at four years old now. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been excited to show you guys Judge. Very special dog. Again, I can't show all of Judge's abilities out here. I really can't. Right now, I can't. But soon, I will be able to by continuing learning the proper handling skills for what he knows. He's way above me, so I got to catch up to him. Oh, come on, buddy. Let's go. Hi, big dog. Hi, big guy. Look how little he is. He's just a little tyke. He honestly, he doesn't know anything about normal life. <laughs> I, and I mean it. Um, he is not a house dog. He is a kennel dog. So, hi, buddy. Look, he just wants to love us. He reminds me of Fred when he was this age. Just, look, I'm not, he just says, I'll put my head right there. I know, buddy. He is so sweet. Big lover guy. Big, big lover guy. Um, one thing I want to say before we get any further, um, if you guys haven't checked out Impact Dog Kennels, they got a bunch of different choices, and I love them. They have helped out the channel now for a little while, and uh, if you guys click my link down in the description and, and or use code Bob at checkout there, uh, you will save a bunch of money. And I mean like, it's a huge, 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 huge discount. Very quality crates, all built right here in the USA. So, but he's a lover, dude. He um, he's gonna have to um, go through a big transition here, and it's gonna the transition is him going from kennel dog, had a trainer, breeder, all of his life for 17 months, his whole life, now integrating into a home with kids and other dogs that just live at you know their own will, doing whatever they want. He can't do whatever he wants. If I allow him to roam outside like old Frederick, he's going to be gone. He's going to get scared. He's going to leave and I'll possibly lose him. That's why I'm keeping this collar on right now because it has a riveted tag with all of his information. Until I get a new tag, I got to leave that one on him in case something happens. I'm going to buy like a GPS tracker um, to have on him at all times in case I do lose him. Um, but taking a dog like this, 17 months, highly trained, extremely intelligent, um, away from home, I've already explained to my children, you cannot let him out of his kennel without me being there or without mom being there. You can't let him out and then just you, you go back inside and leave him outside. Very expensive dog. Uh, I know y'all want to know what I spent for him. That obviously isn't a lot of y'all's business. Um, but I had to sp spend a pretty penny to get an adult dog that was trained at this age with a lot of life left because this upcoming season is rapidly approaching. And I do not have the amount of time that it would take to buy a puppy or a young dog and get it trained before November. So that was my, uh, that was my only choice. And um, I'm glad I did because Judge, awesome brother old Frederick, Frederick's pretty much already over the fact that a new dog's here. So it's not going to be bad. Not going to be bad at all. Come on, Fred. Come on. Look, they just both just hover around him. Look, they're doing good now. They're integrating. Set, 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 set. Both of you. Set. 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 Stay. Stay, Fred. Look how much better trained. 
Sit. Good. Stay. Fred is a little bit jealous. Sit. I know, dude. You're cute. No, sit. Sit. <laughs> That's what a house dog looks like. He can't listen. And look at Judge. Just rock steady, baby. I know. It's not your fault. It's my fault for spoiling you. I have to find an outdoor kennel for Judge. If any of you guys live around me at all, I need a good uh, outdoor kennel. I want to either have it asphalt like this or I'd really like to have it concrete bottom so I can spray it out and everything. Got to get one for Judge. Lockable, very safe, can't dig his way out of it. That is what Judge needs really bad. Fred, sit, sit. Thanks, man. Stay. See, Fred knows the word stay. Judge doesn't. Judge only knows sit. Sit means sit until told otherwise. Sit. Good. Look at him. Sit. Fred just can't help himself. Sit. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of fun with both dogs. So I know you're already asking, is F-R-E-D. I don't even want to say his name. Sit. Um, is he going to hunt? Absolutely he's going to hunt. Um, I don't know exactly where Judge is going to be. Um, especially on the big, 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 big spreads. So um, what's going to be nice is Dove fires up here in just a couple days. So we're going to do a lot of Dove hunting with Judge. We're going to get acquainted more. Um, we're going to do some pigeon hunting, some teal hunting, obviously. Uh, two, three man at most hunts. Set, Fred, set. You're going to learn today too, dude. Um, so we'll be able to build up. Set. Just sit down, man. You got to listen. Oh, look, he's like, I'm done. But we're going to do a lot of small hunts, me and Judge, uh, to build up to those big eight, ten man hunts. One thing Scott said was, Bob, you're not just going to like dive right into like ten man hunts. I'm like, oh, no, the ten man, eight man hunts don't start until November um, at all. They're not, I mean, we don't do ten man dove hunts. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a lot of fun. We got uh, one, two months, two months for me and old Judge to get acquainted and get this ball a rolling, don't we, buddy? We do. And with Dove and everything firing up, I think we will be just fine. If you have any uh, comments, anything, drop it down below. Again, I think I answered most of the questions about Judge, um, but I really like him. I really like him. His demeanor is very special. He's not high strung, very calm, extra good with the kids already. I could not ask for more. Just wanted to show you guys old Judge, show you how him and Fred are getting along, and just tell you what the plan going forward is. Hope you guys liked it. I know uh, we've had a lot of excitement about Judge coming, and uh, Fred, you know, the worries about him not being able to hunt anymore. It is what it is, guys. It's not my fault, it's not his fault. It's called genetics. And um, luckily for him, he's got a whole lodge back there that is filled with fans of his during the hunting season. So, being a house dog, being a, a lodge dog isn't a bad gig for old Frederick. Plus, like I said, he's still gonna do water hunts. He's still gonna do hunts this year, for sure. He'll continue to do hunts for the next several years, but we need to do them at his pace, for his health. And that's where me being the owner, just like my son on all those videos, I appreciate your guys' comments. A lot of you were like, Hey, y'all just, you know, Bobby's a good dad, and he probably knows what he's talking about with his son. Just like my dogs, I know what I'm talking about. I know what they need. Judge, a little more advanced than me, but we'll get there. We'll get there together. I'll get there. I'll learn him more. I'll learn better handling. I will learn. It's not that hard. I've learned harder things. I've done harder things in my life. This is just another stepping stone. Stay confident out there in yourself, guys. Always trust in yourself, always believe in your heart that you can do anything, and if you put your mind to anything, it will come. You will accomplish it, and you will look back and go, holy cow, I actually did it. Thank you all for being here. Judge, come on, let's go. Subscribe if you haven't. The videos have been doing really good. Y'all have been liking the North Dakota hunts. Right now, I gotta get on the road. I'm gonna go edit this video for you guys. Get on the road. I gotta go meet my semi driver who is delivering a 10 man pit blind that I gotta dig into a field. That video will be coming up next. So thank you all. Hit the notifications bell down there. It'll notify when I upload. Plus, again, if you buy anything from Ducks, use code Bob. They got a 
lot of awesome new products. Everything from decoy bags, choke tubes, you name it. But until next time. I've been keeping it on